Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, cold, blustery and dry this evening and overnight, even through tomorrow morning, will draw our attention to some quick snow squalls, specifically for Saturday afternoon. In the meantime, it is a pretty sky in Newport. Wow, so much better than that roar of strong wind and rain early this morning. It's still blustery, but by no means is the wind as strong as it was earlier. Temperatures have really dropped off after starting off in the low 60s at sunrise this morning. Low and mid 30s right now, 34 Providence, 31 Smithfield will head down to about 20 overnight and into early tomorrow morning. So our threat tracker now through Saturday morning, we're doing OK. Give you a heads up <clears throat> pinpoint weather alert for a sh for a brief time. Uh, on Saturday afternoon with some brief snow squalls and you know snow squalls different from snow showers and that they're brief uh, heavy bursts of snow in fact let's talk about it in more detail very unique situation so it's usually a sudden onset where you know the sky may be sunny then all of a sudden it's getting dark much like in the summertime with an approaching thunderstorm it doesn't last very long this is the wintertime version with a heavy burst of snow and wind briefly poor visibility and in times you can get quick coatings to an inch in spots but the duration is all of like 15 20 30 minutes in any given location so they come through rather rather rapidly and when they occur during the day a lot of times the sun can come back right out but within this short duration of 15 to 30 minutes if you're on the road the visibility all of a sudden goes from great to like 100 yards so that's the situation coming up for tomorrow that they're, they're short live. They don't last very long, but they're pretty high impact. Skies are clear. We're doing pretty good right now. That system that will eventually produce some of these uh, snow squalls tomorrow afternoon across the upper Great Lakes. Strong cold front and this arrives during the afternoon. So this is what it looks like right now. Let's switch over into the future. Set this into motion. Watch the time bar and here it comes. Now tomorrow morning is fine. It's sunny and cold. This is around eight o'clock in the morning. Very strong cold front, which will knock down the temperatures quite a bit by Saturday night. This will be the trigger. You see these little thin strips of blue. Those are the snow squalls in the afternoon, and then they're racing offshore tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. In fact, let me bring you in even closer. We're going to get very hyper local hour by hour. Let's start off at 10 o'clock in the morning. We're doing fine. Watch off to our north and west. These strips of blue. This is noontime. Clouds are increasing. And here comes one narrow snow squall. These numbers that are ticking up represent accumulations. Now that's not two, that's point two, point one. So some small accumulations. One squall goes by. Here we are, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Another squall approaches. And usually in between the squalls, sometimes the sun can come back out. And here's another one. By five o'clock in the evening, most of this is gone. Skies are clear, blustery, and cold. So these numbers, that's not six inches, that's point six. So generally an inch or less potential accumulation as some of these squalls come through and reduce visibility. If you're on the highway or the roads and this is hitting, sometimes you get to kind of pull over to the side, let these squalls go by. They don't last very long. So for tonight, we're cold and quiet and the mainly clear skies. Tomorrow morning, we're looking okay, starting with sunshine, very cold early at about 15 to 20. And then those quick squalls coming through during the afternoon, reducing the visibility. Again, they're very short lived temperatures in the 30s and also quite windy. We're not talking damaging wind, but a very gusty day in the afternoon and evening. Seven day forecast, uh, sunshine, chilly, dry and uh, quiet on Sunday, 36. Looking good on Monday. Next system for Tuesday would be rain and milder with a temperature at 52. But Mike and Shannon, it's, it's the kind of day where it starts off quiet. Then all of a sudden that quick squall comes through. Sounds like New England. Yeah. Bring it on. All right, Tony, thanks. All right. Now for a look at what's coming up on News Nation tonight. Here's Dan Abrams.